In today's video, we are going to be using Python code to create an app that resembles a magic eight ball. Now, if you're not familiar with what a magic eight ball is, this is what one looks like. And basically what you do is you ask the magic eight ball a question. You give it a shake and it will tell you the answer to your question. Now, you need to be yes or no questions for this to work properly. So I'll just play this video and you can get a quick example. So people ask a question, they shake it, and the answer appears on that little screen there. Okay, there's 20 different responses that the Magic 8 Ball can give. Okay, and we're going to code those into our app today so that people can ask our app questions and we will give them a response to their question. I'll show you how it's going to work exactly. Okay, so when we run the app, it just asks for a name to begin with. So you just type in your name and it says, what is your question for the Magic 8 Ball? So I might say, should I go shopping today? It's a yes or no question. Okay, Magic 8 Ball says it is certain. So it looks like I'm going to go shopping today. That was one of 20 different responses. If I run the app again, I'll ask for a name. Let's say Sarah. Sarah, what is your question for the Magic 8 Ball? Let's say, does Bill love me? And the Magic 8 Ball says you may rely on it. Okay, which means... Bill does love her. Okay, we'll run it one more time. What's your name? Let's do Gary. Gary, what's your question for the Magic 8 Ball? Will I win footy this weekend? Without a doubt. Okay, so the Magic 8 Ball is looking pretty positive today. It's pretty much got yes answers for everything. Okay, sometimes it'll come up with no answers. Sometimes they're a bit iffy. Um, it's all part of the fun of the Magic 8 Ball. So let's get started on creating this. When you open up Python, make sure you go up to File and New File. And just make that full screen and you can go and close the shell off if you've got it open. We won't need that just now. Alrighty, so the first thing that we need to do with our Magic 8-Ball app is we need to type in all the different answers that the Magic 8-Ball can give to the user. Okay, now I've saved a picture that I got off Google of all the different responses a Magic 8 Ball can give. So the green ones here are pretty much all the yes responses. The yellow ones are the in-between responses that are neither yes or neither no. And then the red ones are the no responses that the Magic 8 Ball can give. And we need to type all of these into our app. That's a little bit time consuming. Um, they're pretty short answers, so hopefully it won't take us too long. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to write in ANS1 equals that's basically saying answer one equals and then we'll have answer two equals and i'm going to pretty much copy and paste this all the way down until we get to 20. so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nine twenty now i need to replace all these twos okay so show three four five six seven eight nine ten Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So these are going to be the twenty different responses. We now need to go and type them all in. Okay, so in order here we've got it is certain, it is decidedly so. I just want you to go through all of these. Okay, you can copy what I write up here if you'd like. So it is certain. The first one, put them in quotation marks too. It is decidedly so. And we'll have, without a doubt, yes, definitely. You may rely on it. Uh, what else we got? As I see it, yes. And most likely, outlook good. And yes. Alright, signs point to yes. Alright, so that's all the yes answers put in. Now we need to do a few hazy ones. So the in-between ones. So reply hazy, 
comma, try again. Um, ask again later. But better not tell you now. Next one's cannot predict now. Um, concentrate and ask again. After that, we've got don't count on it. Then we've got my reply is no. Nearly there now. Uh, what's next on my sources? Say no. Out. Whoops. Outlook, not so good, and very doubtful. I did tell you that was a bit time consuming, but hopefully it didn't take you too long to get all those different responses typed in. Okay, now that we've got all the different answers that the Magic 8 Ball typed in as variables there, we can ask the question, uh, what is the user's name? And then get them to type in their own question for the Magic 8 Ball. So, what we're going to do is create a variable called name and we're going to store the user's name in this variable. So let's ask a question. Let's write enter your name, colon, quotation marks, bracket. And then on the next line, we're going to use that variable name and put it into a sentence just to make this app a little bit more personalized for our user. So we'll ask the question input. And we'll just put name. So that's the variable name from above. And we'll concatenate it or join it together with another string that says, what is your question for the magic eight ball? Question mark, space, quotation marks, bracket. Alrighty, so I'm just going to save what I've got there to start with. Um, let's call it magic eight ball. Just run that to see how it's looking so far. So press F5, it'll tell you to enter your name. And what's your question for the Magic 8 ball? Blah, blah, blah. You can type in anything because that's as far as we've got so far, but it's looking good. All right. Next thing we need to do is we need to import some code. Okay, so go to the very top of your code here and I want you to write import random. We're going to import the random library. Okay, that's some code that has already been written for us and it saves us having to add it into our app okay, which is going to save us a lot of time and effort now using that random library what we're going to do is we're going to get the magic eight ball to pick a random answer from this list of 20 and then we're going to display that to the user to answer their question okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable called choice and it's going to be equal to, we're going to write random, so we're accessing this random library. And in that random library, we're going to access something called random, or we'll just write rand int. That means a random integer is going to be picked between 1 and 20. Okay, because we've got 20 different responses there. Okay, we want to pick a random integer between 1 and 20. So it's going to basically choose one of these different answers. Okay, coming down below that, we're going to start a hell of a lot of if statements. Okay, and it's going to look like this. If choice, okay, so this is this random number between 1 and 20, if it is equal to 1, put a colon, and we tell the computer what to do, it's going to be answer equals ants 1. Okay, so if our random number generator, just here, ends up on the number one, then our answer is going to be, it is certain. And we're going to display that to the user very shortly. Okay, but we've got a whole heap of other things to write in here. Okay, there's 20 other options we can write in there. So we need to write ELIF, so that stands for else if. And we write choice oops, equals two then answer equals answer to. Okay, and it's just going to go on and on all the way to 20. So you should be able to copy and paste this. So copy that elif choice equals 2 there. Come down and paste it below. Then just change the 2s 
to threes. So if the choice equals three, then the answer is going to be answer three. Okay, paste, paste, and just keep pasting in. We're going to keep going all the way down to 20. Just replace the numbers going up by one each time. So hopefully you get the idea. If choice equals seven, answer will equal answer seven. So eight, whoops, eight, nine, ten, let's put them in. Eight, nine, and nine, ten, and ten. All right, we're halfway there. So what I might do is just copy and paste all that. Paste it all in again. Let's keep going. So we've got 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19. We've got one last one to go. It can be an else statement. So else. And we'll just write. Oops, put the colon there. So else colon answer equals ants twenty. Done. So now we've got all the different options here. So depending on what our num random number generator comes up with, any number between one and twenty, we've got all the different responses covered. Okay. So the last thing we need to do now is basically just display that answer on our screen. So I'm going to write print in brackets and quotation marks, magic eight ball, put a colon, close the quotation marks, and we're just going to put in the answer variable. Okay, so it displays whatever the answer is going to be. All right, let's give that a test run, see if it looks any good. Save it by pressing Control S, F5 to run it. Enter our name, question, should I play footy at lunch? Magic 8 Ball says concentrate and ask again. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. I'm just going to make it look a little bit better. I think just here with this print, I'm going to put in another print above it. This is right at the bottom of my app, by the way. And I'm just going to put in a whole bunch of stars or asterisks. Okay, I don't, know. I don't really care how long it is. Just something like that. That's just going to break up um, our little piece of code. Yeah, that should look good. Let's just quickly, oops, I forgot to close the quotation marks there. Save that and run it. Let's see what it does. Tim, should I shave my head? Magic 8 Ball says Outlook is good. And these are the asterisks that come in now. It just sort of breaks up the program a bit. Alrighty, so that is looking pretty sweet. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need to add to that. So that is how we create a Magic 8-Ball app using if statements in Python.